staff, we are visiting reproductive health with two innovative startups. There is a new groundbreaking contraception on the market and new technology to prevent premature ejaculation. Kerem Lashem is the CEO at Ocom Healthcare, and Dr. Irit Yaniv is a founding partner and CEO at Almeida Ventures. And they both join me in studio now to discuss uh, all this new technology that is now on the market. Ladies, thank you so much for joining us. Thank, thank you. you. Now, Yaris, I want to start with you. Almeida Ventures is focusing on health and med tech. Have you observed any specific tech trends emerging relating to sexuality and reproduction? Thank you. Uh, nice to be here. Uh, and yes, health usually includes sexuality and reprodu reproducibility. However, it was a taboo and nobody was sp spoken about it uh, in the last few years. In the recent years, we see a trend. People are starting to invest and invent in this field. We see that the numbers are growing. In 2019, more than $500 million were invested in femtech and uh, uh, sexuality and repro reproducibility. So we see that the field is growing. We are seeing more and more startup in this field. In the last year, we saw more than 10 startup that are coming and looking for investment. And as, as we will discuss in a few minutes, we have chosen one to invest in. And we're going to talk about that one a little bit later. Karen, I want to bring you into the conversation because Ocon has come up with something amazing. It is called the Bell Bellerin, which replaces the IUD. Tell us about it. Well, thank you for having us uh, today. We invented a safer um, product that actually fits the woman's anatomy. So our uterus is a cavity, and in a cavity, it's much better to put a ball that doesn't have any sharp edges. And so we're very proud of our development. I even chose to uh, wear the ballerine myself. Uh, and this is our first product uh, to tackle um, pregnancy. Now, I was absolutely baffled when I found out that the IUD hasn't been changed or modified for over 70 years. Is that correct? That is correct. There's been no innovation in the space whatsoever until Ocon came. Until Ocon came, came around. This is absolutely incredible. So tell me what the benefits are of the product. So first of all, it's a much smaller product, so it fits any uterus from the age of 15, which is an uncommon uh, knowledge where women think that only women that had babies could have an IUD. So this IUB, intrauterine ball, could fit any woman from the age of 15 all the way to uh, probably before menopause, so 50, I would say. And the benefits are that it's round, it's pliable, it's soft. Um, it just introduces new technology, much higher end um, um, products that we use in order to introduce that into the uterus. And so we see a lot less ectopic pregnancies, a lot less perforations, and just women in general have a higher quality of life. Great. And Irit, your firm, as we just mentioned, you've invested in one example of emerging tech and it's called the V-Patch. Yeah, Tell us a little bit about this so, and why you've chosen to invest. Exactly. So Almeda Venture is a public uh, R&D uh, partnership. We we invest in medtech, as you said before, and digital health. When we looked around and we found out about Virility Medical, Virility Medical is the company that developed the VPH. And the idea was to look for uh, a product that will impact major population. And the VL, the VPH, which was a product of Virility, is as such. So Virility Medical is focused on developing a solution for premature ejaculation. Premature ejaculation is a problem that affects one out of four person men in the world. And when I say men, I mean, I mean couples. Uh, and this is such a huge problem that when we looked around and we didn't see anything new in this field for the last years, we decided to invest in that. We believe that Virility Medical will impact the ma major population and will have a, a major uh, issue on, uh, on the population as well, on the health of the population. Two really serious issues. I'm just so shocked to see that these <laughs> ha things haven't been, people haven't worked on them in so many years. Now tell me, what stage of development the V-Patch is actually in at the moment? So the company completed the clinical studies. 
uh, they have submitted to a C to gain a CE mark. The CE mark is the approval to market the product in Europe, and they are about to uh, submit the uh, the package to the FDA in order to gain FDA approval and market it in the US. Uh, the aim is to market it by physician, prescribed by physician, but also off the shelf, direct to customer. We believe that Virility Medical will impact more than 70 million men uh, that they suffer from this problem. Great. And Karen, just finally, one more question. You're developing another product as well using the same concept. What can you tell me about that? Correct. Well, we're developing a line of products. Anything that we can bring into the uterus, we're going to put on this little ball. And so our next product, which is now in phase two clinical studies, so we're about a couple years away from the FDA, is to treat uh, heavy menstrual bleeding and abnormal uterine bleeding, women that suffer uh, in their monthly period from heavy menstrual bleeding. But we are going to introduce anything from cancer treatments to uterine fibroids, we're going to deal with IVF, we're going to put hormones on it to be able to allow a contraception that is also hormonal uh, and other indications such as endometriosis, which is becoming more and more prevalent, uh, at least uh, from what we know. And so we're going to work on a lot of uh, pipeline products as well. This is just a great way to end the show. I love ending the show on good news stories. Karen Lashem and Dr. Iritia Niv, thank, thank you, you so very much. much. Thank you thank for you. having us.